So I am aware that not everybody can afford Sims 4 packs. They are very expensive, especially expansion packs. So this is a base game compatible play mat for infants. As you can see, Shanice Shanice's kids are really loving life right now. Although Shanice is most definitely not. So she's picked up child tax credit, one of her children. Put child tax credit down here. <laughs> right, come on then Shanice. Your little kid is on the mat. Is child tax credit loving it? I think he is. I've just realized as well, this is called the Dangle Master Deluxe. Back in my day, we called it teabagging. <laughs> Obviously, this play mat as a functional object is locked behind grown together. There is no way a modder can legally make a mod with a play mat that functions like that without having grown together. But this is the next best thing. And the thing is, on this play mat anyway, toddlers don't really play with it. I'm saying toddlers, I mean infants. They don't really play with it. Like they just sit there and stare. It doesn't really do anything. With this one, it's basically the same. As you can see, this toddler is just sitting in it. Oh, he's stinky. <laughs> but he's not really doing anything. And because this one works kind of like a crib, basically, you can also upgrade it with a mobile, just so like you can do with the cribs. So there we go. We've attached a nice little mobile onto it if you want to, and they can sleep in there. My beautiful child, what's his name? Tyler Shanice. So that is a cracking one, I think, if you don't own Growing Together. So as many of you may know, The Sims 4 Growing Together comes with like a personality overhaul. You can give your sims different conversation and personality preferences. And for that, I have two different mods for you. Firstly, we have Wonderful Whims, and I'm specifically referring to attractiveness, relationships, and impressions. I did a massive video on an ultimate guide to Wonderful Whims and Wicked Whims, so I'm not going to go over everything, but I will link that video in the description. Basically, the mod has an attractiveness system that's very similar to Growing Together's social chemistry system. System. It also has a personality archetype system, which is basically the same thing as the social chemistry system, which affects the way that your sim interacts with other sims in the world. In a weird way, I think it's a little bit better than growing together system because this one distinguishes between romantic attraction and just like friend chemistry. Because there are things that I like in my friends that maybe I would or would not like in a romantic partner and vice versa. So this mod is actually a little bit better in my opinion. As I said, I did a whole video guide on it before, so I won't go over the entire thing. I will link that in the description though. So the next one is called the Slice of Life mod. Maybe a lot of you have already heard of this. It adds a lot of things, memories, personality, appearance, alcohol, beauty, self, woohoo, a social life, menstrual cycle, health, parties, and a phone thing. Again, this is a very big mod. I'm actually working on making my ultimate guide to this mod, so hopefully it will be uploaded soon. But basically, you don't actually have to download every single one of these things. You can actually download them separately. And if you want to give your Sims better personality like they do in Growing Together, I actually recommend My Memories, which has a great memory system, which again, in my opinion, is a little bit better than Milestones in Growing Together because they're actually meaningful. Also, My Personality, which lets them have a better personality. And also My Appearance, which allows Sims to actually have tears, dark circles under their eyes if they're tired, allows them to blush. The Sims for Growing Together come comes with infant quirks which affect the way that they grow up or it comes with milestones like kids teeth fall out and although we don't really have a mod for that this my appearance thing gives your sims a little bit more uniqueness and character for those who do appreciate the smaller details in the game. The next one is the daycare career mod. I know a lot of people were really unhappy when they found out that the sims for growing together didn't come with a daycare career like the sims regenerations did. I have played with this mod and I can categorically tell you it feels like an official thing in The Sims 4, like if EA upsold this as something that they made, like I wouldn't have known any different. It's that well implemented and if you want more kind of gameplay for being around toddlers and looking after them in a career, I cannot recommend this mod enough because it is honestly so good. The cool thing is there are actually two options. So firstly, you can set up a daycare in your home lots. So if you want to be able to actually like bring them to your house like you did in The Sims 3 Generations, you can do that. But there's also a second option where you can actually go into a special made daycare lot and you can actually be a daycare teacher 
there and there are different staff there and it's kind of like a different experience. So it basically comes with like two careers. It's really, really well implemented and I cannot recommend it enough. So the next one is a load of different mods actually, including various different things. They can all be downloaded separately. More importantly, there is a slumber party event mod and a baby shower event mod. I do not have these in the game because I now have growing together. Obviously slumber parties are a big part of growing together and it's nice to have a mod which actually lets you have slumber parties. And of course being able to have baby showers is a really nice thing as well. And this mod does implement baby showers in a way that's nice. It also comes with a funeral event mod which is not a part of the growing together pack but I feel like funerals should have been. I haven't actually tried the funeral one so I don't know what it's like but if you have you can let me know. So the next one is not actually a mod but it's somebody else's YouTube video. How to build a tree house in The Sims 4. No CC and base game friendly. Four easy steps tutorial. Obviously a major part of The Sims 4 growing together is being able to have the tree house. The tree house object looks really cool and there's a lot of gameplay functionality with it but I personally think I'm not going to play the video because it'll be copyright because it's somebody else's video but I am going to link it. But fundamentally you can make a tree house in the game and have it still look really really nice and of course you can put objects that you already own up there like kids toys so it's still kind of functional and it still does things it's not the same as a growing together tree house but it will certainly do things i hope you found this video useful i have my growing together brutally honest review by the way i also have my wish list of what i wish came with it but didn't otherwise thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one